Steve, what are the Russians playing at? Right, so this, this feels quite antagonistic, doesn't it? it? It does. I'll tell you what they're playing at. They're playing at trying to get their news and their clips mention loads. We've just fallen into the trap. I mean, it's a great clip. Yes. We're doing exactly what they want. Ah, you think this is, this is a propaganda thing? Yeah. I mean, the, I'm not even sure if dumping fuel on a drone makes that much difference. It just looks like a dirty protest, doesn't it? It looks... It's going to annoy yes. Greta, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah no, she'll yeah. be really angry this, about this. This is brinkmanship because, uh, I mean, just a, a few days ago, the US uh, flew B-52 bombers over Estonia and, you know, just veered away from the Russian border at the last moment. Right. And it's a sort of practice run in St. Petersburg. So this is probably in response to that. And all also, to try, they're trying to force the drone down. Russia thinks it's going to be able to recover the drone because Russia's drone technology is terrible. They want to get this, this drone, but the drone pick it apart. They want to find out how they, they can do. blow up weddings in Afghanistan. But the drone, yeah, the drone fell in, inter, in uh, international in waters, in neutral waters, right? So the, the US will be able to get it back. Well, it's the Black Sea, so uh, so I'm not sure. I mean, the Russian Navy's right there, so uh, they, they might have they might have already recovered. But no one's making claims that the drone was it or shouldn't be there, right? There's no. nothing wrong with the drone being where it was. It's not like the Chinese balloon thing all over again, yeah. is it? No, it's yeah. not the same thing. But it does feel like brinkmanship. It feels a bit worrying. Yeah. It feels like something's escalating. Yeah, yeah. It does. Oh, well. <laughs> On to World War Three.